was coming back from a trip the other day and I had to drive about two hours in the dark and a lot of it was through construction and it was kind of then that I realized that my headlights weren't doing a very good job couldn't see very well so the next day when it was light I got home and checked and the headlights are in pretty bad shape you can see they're pretty bad pretty clouded over uh, headlights are a plastic polycarbonate substance and over time they will yellow and cloud and just from the UV rays from the sun and the environment wherever you drive they're gonna lose their clarity and your uh, light won't go as far and it won't be as safe so they need to be cleaned so I got a couple of things at the store to do that two things I'm gonna try one is just a regular over-the-counter product, 3M Headlight Restoration Kit. It requires sanding and polishing, and uh, it's supposed to be, you know, the more professional, I guess, way to go. But then, I also went to the toothpaste aisle and got this. I've heard people say that you can clean your headlights with toothpaste. This is a whitening toothpaste and a little more gritty. So I'm sure that has something to do with it, so we'll try that and see how it goes. But first I think I'm going to use the over-the-counter solution and see how good this one is. There's all kinds of brands and all kinds of prices, but 3M is usually a good product, so we'll try it and see what it can do. So I'm going to get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is just a simple cleaning on the lens covers themselves. Just soap and water, I'm just going to put a little Dawn detergent and water and clean them off. Don't need too much, just gonna get the surface grime and dirt off. Get all the bugs I can off that are already there. And I'm just gonna be sure and use a clean rag to start with. Don't get anything that's got oil on it already. That'll defeat your purpose. And that helps a little bit right there, you know, just to start with. You can still see there's a lot of cloudiness there and where it used to be crystal clear it's not anymore so that's clean and this will be our before picture and this is the side that I'm going to do the 3M on since we'll be using abrasives and sanding I put some tape around the edges just so there won't be any damage to the finish of the car this is an old car, I shouldn't worry about it, but um, this is just a precaution so you don't get any scratches or scuff marks on the paint of your car. This is everything that comes inside. Two packets of rubbing compound, instructions, a little hand sander, that adhesive comes off so you can put other disc on and all your different disc. So it's a several step process to get the uh, crud off of your lens. So I'm going to read these instructions carefully first. I don't always do that, but uh, I think I better this time. You start off with a 500 grit piece of sandpaper on the sander and it uh, has sort of a, a velcro type attachment system on it and they give you several pieces of this 500 grit and uh, it is marked on the back of it. You know what? what grit you're using so you can't go wrong there and it says to just uh, sand it in a circular or back and forth pattern whichever is more comfortable to you and remove the surface defects and you're supposed to sand until all the yellowing is removed and it says apply heavy pressure so I guess don't hold back put your back into it so the more you get off here the the better you'll be able to see when you're driving down the road at night. I used a second disc on it just to be sure you know I got it sanded good enough and it says to sand it until you have like a white frosted look all over it there's no clear spots left so that's what I have here so I think I'm ready for the next step which is just a finer grade of sandpaper you're gonna remove the scratches because what you basically did here was scratch up the whole lens cover so now we have to kind of uh, eliminate those scratches so we can get a clear lens again after we've got all the crud off. Uh, 
the yellowing and uh, surface defects. So we're going to change pads and move on to the next uh, level of sanding. And this is actually 800 grit sandpaper. So I'm going to remove the scratches from the 500 sandpaper and reduce them to finer 800 scratches. So it's going to look uh, increasingly better and better. So I've finished sanding with that and it's all fine little scratches on there that you can see. And it's time to use another disc and this one you use water with. You dampen the surface and you also dampen the disc and keep it wet as you're going. And this will do much finer removal of those last scratches that you just put on with the 800 grit sandpaper. Now the light scratches are gone. It's still kind of cloudy. That's uh, to be expected. Now we use a 3000 grit sandpaper and go over that same process again before we use uh, I think the actual uh, polishing compound but we have to do the 3000 grit and get it a lot finer and get all the really minute scratches out. Now I've finished using the sanding pads so I take that off and you're going to turn it over and use this side and use a quarter sized spot of the rubbing compound and finish clearing all the little fine scratches off of the lens. And it says you're supposed to rub this compound over the lens surface completely using high pressure and to remove the sanding scratches that might be left. So that's what's going to happen now, hopefully with good results. And there's the finished product and I don't know if you can tell as big a difference as I can being here but uh, it made a world of difference. Uh, the 3M product really worked. Uh, worked better than the last product I used to clean my headlight covers. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. Uh, that is night and day from what it was. And so now uh, I'm going to finish cleaning up here, take the electrical tape off. Um, I did pop the hood to put the tape on to be sure I could get it uh, up a little further. I'm going to move on to the next headlight and I'm going to try using the toothpaste method. I don't know if that'll work. I can't imagine it'll work as good as this, but uh, toothpaste is a lot cheaper. This was $15, $16. The tube of toothpaste was three bucks. So we'll see if the uh, gritty consistency and makeup of the toothpaste does anywhere near as good a job as this. If not, I've got more of this left and I can do the other one, so no harm done. So this is my other headlight, the passenger side and it, it's already been cleaned off. You can see it's hazy and fuzzy and cloudy just like the other one. Not good for transmitting light and helping you be safe at night. But this time it's Crest Pro Health. Straight out of the tube, straight from Walmart. And I'm just gonna use a clean rag, it's wet. I'm gonna wet this all down too and some toothpaste. And we'll just see what happens. <laughs> see if there's anything to this. Um, it may work a little bit. It may work a lot. But we'll see. I have to say, to be honest, this uh, toothpaste isn't doing too bad. This Crest Pro Health. It's um, clearing it up, definitely. It's not really as good as the 3M finished job, but uh, it's not bad. It's a close second, especially if you were wanting to do something in a hurry, you know. The uh, 3M headlight restoration kit is uh, definitely better, and I'll probably use it again on this lens too, just to be safe, but uh, all in all, um, the toothpaste isn't a bad second choice. Uh, surprised me and was way better than I thought it would be. It not only brightens your teeth, it also brightens your lights. But the results of this test is toothpaste works. Uh, maybe not as good, it may not last as long because you're not really getting 
uh, maybe some of the scratches out or some of the uh, uh, defects out of the lens surface that the other does, but it uh, does improve the clarity of your lens, and that's the bottom line. So, thanks for watching, and uh, go clean off the headlight lenses of your car. Be safer for you and everybody else that meets you on the road. Bye.